Hi, I'm Bill Ryan and welcome to my world. I'd like to share with you um, more evidence of the fact that we, we think this is a real government, uh, but it's really not. Uh, as I've shared with you previously uh, regarding like the flags and things like that, when you enter a court of law, you're entering another country. It's, uh, we are owned, we are property. Uh, we are all straw men, all of us, and uh, more examples are around us all the time. And one of them is that the police that we think are part of us and here to protect us, well, uh, they can seize your property um, even when you haven't broken the law. They can take what you worked for, your car, your, your whatever, your suitcase, your money. They can take it. Uh, and you don't even have to have broken the law. Um, uh, here's, here's one article. And it says, It is legal for law enforcement agencies to take property from people who haven't been convicted of a crime. We see it all the time. You know, you watch the cops, uh, well, lady, if you get any more lippy, I'll just take your car. And they will. They do. They do it all the time. They do it all the time. It's called, when we do it, it's called theft. When they do it, it's, oh, yeah, I got me a new car. I got me guns. Yeah. Yeah, I got me a new gun. Yeah. Who'd you get it from? Oh, I stole it from that guy over there. Oh, good job. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's part of being one of the, um, uh, what, what are they called? I guess that's part of, of being one of the Freemasons. Because I've heard, heard, that 85% of all law enforcement are Freemasons. And Freemasons have a code, you never rat on another Freemason. You never... Uh, uh, speak against them. If they've broken the law, you help protect them. That's the way the Freemasons work. So every time you get pulled over, oh good God, you don't know what they're going to do. You know, we can all get rid of the, 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 the dopers and the drug addicts and the prostitutes. I mean, we can get rid of them. How do we get rid of the cops? How do we get rid of them? Okay, so, here, now we get to the scary bits. Uh, the Federal Court of Appeals. Federal Court of Appeals um, has stated uh, when an, an example where a cop was um, accused of stealing 225 thousand uh, um, dollars the court found the court found that the uh, theft was deeply disturbing but it dismissed the suit anyway because it said no precedent had ever been set to establish that an officer cannot steal on the job. And you think this is a country. Oh, good God, you're one of the sheeple with your mask on if you believe this is real. Absolutely. You are an idiot. If you think this is a real government and a real country, think again. It's not. It's not. It's clear as a bell. The police can steal. They can steal anything they want. They don't have to be honest, decent, upright citizens. They don't have to swear, swear an oath to the Constitution. Which Constitution did they swear an oath to? The second one of 1871, not the original one. So they can do whatever they want. Lie, cheat, steal, rape, murder, kill. I mean, if you want to kill somebody, become a cop. It's a license to kill. They're not going to prosecute you. They're not going to do anything to you. 
You should find that disturbing. If you don't, then you really are just a sheeple. If you can justify this and 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 somehow come up with uh, a plausible reason for their being able to steal from people and and justifiable, I guess it just hasn't happened to you. And when it does, then you might be a little bit upset. But you know, wake up, world! Wake up, sheeple! Take the mask off. Figure it out. The Supreme Court is, is a foreign country, foreign government over the control of we the sheeple. We, we straw, straw men. That's, that's what that's all about. So I just want to share that with you. Just a, an interesting little tidbit of knowledge that helps back up what I've always said. This is not a country. It's all fake. And there's so few of us that know it. But if you get it, you know, please leave a comment down there that might help other people to get it. You might have links to other other stories or other evidence that, that this is not a real country. It's all fake. You are, you know, when you go to the polls, you don't even have to go to the polls. They've already predicted Trump is going to win. It's already in the cards. Well, you know, we got two Joe Bidens. It, I, that's amazing to me. I show how you can tell because the original Joe Biden has an earlobe and the fake Joe Biden doesn't have an earlobe. It blends right into the Joe. I show people that and they, they get it. From that point on, it's like, oh, I see it. That's the fake Joe Biden. Oh, that's the real one. They get it. They get it. Once they see that, they get it. Every time they see a commercial, every time they see something with him, they get it. So... Hopefully, we can all get what's really going on here, but Donald Trump is going to be the next president. You don't need to vote, especially in Florida. Not necessary. Not necessary. They will vote for you. It's in the cards. Very clear. Look up my video of voter fraud. I explain exactly how it happens in the state of Florida. And I'm sure it's everywhere else in the country. They... they they got complete control. And the rest of us are just too stupid to understand. Except for the few of us that do. Alright, so again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting.